So guys, I definitely need to know your thoughts on this one. Do you want to know the truth or do you want to be happy? This is something that I heard when I was speaking to someone the other day. And I want to know what you guys think. So let's talk about it. So I was having a very interesting conversation the other day. And basically it was talking about how just talk about relationships and fidelity and all these things and the person said the 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 person said basically do you want to know the truth or do you want to be happy that's basically like the question that would be posed to a woman when she's asking a guy questions like she wants to know about if he's seeing somebody or if he's with someone else and the position of this individual is do you want to know the truth or do you want to be happy and you know that's not the first time I've heard that before it's not that I've heard it it's been a recent thing that I've been hearing so what are your thoughts on that one is it better to not know than to know? Is it better to not know and be happy and just be happy that this person's coming home to you? And I'm going to say maybe this could apply to men, but for some reason I just feel like it wouldn't. I just feel like this would not fly with a guy. A guy would not be like, oh, well, as long as you don't, I don't know, it's I'm good. Just for some reason, I just don't see this. Okay, maybe there's that guy that allows this, but I have heard it with females. I have heard it with even females I know, and their whole thing is, as long as he's coming home to me, I'm good, or I'm the one that have the ring on my finger, right? So whatever he does out there, as long as he keeps it away from me, as long as he doesn't bring any babies home, as long as he doesn't bring me anything, I don't care. As long as he keep these bills paid, as long as I'm happy, that's fine. So is this the norm? Is this the new thing, guys, for people to do? Are people throwing away their relationships over what others may consider to be trivial issues when they could keep the baby in the bath water, knowing that, all right, my man is out there doing his thing, my husband's out there doing his thing, but as long as he's coming home to me, that's all I care about. What do you think about that? Well, may, I think these things may have worked back in the old days. I personally don't think that you should go looking and snooping for answers because I think what you're going to know is going to fall right on your lap. I have spoken about that before. All of us have in intuition. We have instinct, discernment. And if your significant other, whether it's a male or a female, when they're out doing things they shouldn't be doing, you're just going to have this not so good feeling. You're just going to have a like your spotty senses goes off. So you're going to feel like something isn't right. And a lot of times that will lead people to go check and, and snoop and find things. I think everyone at some point has done this before. Or in cases that has happened to me, sometimes it's just been something where someone called me or someone reached out to me. Someone sent me an email or I was accidentally sent a text message. I've done a video about this before where someone who I'm in a serious relationship with, I had just seen him. He had just left. And then like within minutes, he's sending me this text and the tone of the message sounds so different. 
even the name he calls me. I think he said, hey, Vanity. He's never called me, hey, Vanity, ever. Now, he was someone that always would give me some sort of nickname. He always had a name for me that he would call me. But it certainly was never Vanity. <laughs> and then the context of what he was talking about was very, it's nothing that we've discussed. But, of course, when I reached out to him, I was like, uh, is this for me? Then he's like, yeah, it is. But anyway, long story short, the truth eventually revealed itself. But what I'm saying is the stuff will come falling on your lap. And as I have matured over time, I just realized I'm not going to follow the rabbit hole. I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole. I'm not going to follow the breadcrumbs and trying to snoop and I'm trying to find this and that because your intuition, that knowing within you, you're going to know the truth. Now, keep in mind, there are some people that if you're just naturally jealous, if you are an insecure person, if you're somebody that you've been hurt before and you have not done the work to heal yourself, you may have paranoia, you may bring baggage, and then you're jumping to conclusions. But that's not always the case, right? So let's discuss this. So I feel like the truth is going to come. You're going to find out. Now, what you do with that is sort of the topic that was just being discussed. And it was, do you want to know the truth or do you want to be happy? Do you want to lose all your happiness? If I'm giving you the world and if I'm treating you well and you are my lady and you are getting everything and you're the one that's out in public with me and you're the one that's getting the, you know, VIP treatment, do you ruin that because you want to find out what's going on out here? There's some people that say no, and I know people personally who are that way. Say, no, I don't want to know. Just don't bring it to me. The thing for me that I think about is just the times that we are living in. Because I do think what you don't know can hurt you. Yes, you want to be happy, but if this person is out there messing with another, another individual, this man is out there messing with someone Okay, and it could be a woman too, but I'm definitely talking about a man here, okay? But you can insert yourself here, guys, if you're listening. They can be out there messing with a person who becomes obsessed with them, who can become dangerous. It's not uncommon for people to get killed. It's not uncommon for someone to hunt down and look for someone's wife, girlfriend, fiance, husband, boyfriend, take this person out. This person has no idea, no clue that this person exists, but this person obviously will know about them. You see now the, hey, you want to know, you want to know the truth or you want to be happy? It means this person is not going to tell you what's going on. They're going to keep you in the dark. But a lot of times, if they're messing with somebody, this person is going to know, hey, I've got a wife. I've got a husband. They're off limits. And in some cases, they may even be discussing the wife with this person. So this person sitting there thinking that they have a closer relationship because they are getting the tea, they're getting all the details about the wife, the girlfriend. When in fact the person's just venting, it's like you go to a counselor or you go and you vent to your bestie or whoever and you go back home. But that person can internalize a lot of that and decide they want to do something about it. A lot of times they can be getting, of course, they're always getting the, the side that the man is telling or the female is telling, and they jump to their conclusions and they decide to intervene to save the person, to save the woman from this alleged horrible man, or the lady's like, I want to be with him, especially if you're dealing with this man who has material wealth, 
He's nice looking. He has asset and she is seeing the things that he is doing for his lady. I feel that it could be dangerous. So do you want to know the truth or do you want to be happy? I say you need to tell the truth because now if he tells you the truth and you still decide you want to be with him, then that's your choice. At the same time, you know, once you he knows that you're okay with this or she knows you're okay with this, they can up the ante and really start doing more because now you're showing them, oh, the door's open. I could do what I want to do. And then knowing the truth, you have to decide, are you going to walk away from this situation? A lot of people these days are really not that strong. A lot of times they want that companionship. They want to be with this person so they don't walk away. They can't imagine stepping away from this and another woman sitting in, taking over and being with her husband, being with this person she's been with. So it's, it's one of those things. I would say, I guess I have been the person that's thrown the baby out with the bathwater. You call me that. The baby, baby out with the bathwater. I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be with you anymore. I just didn't. I just felt betrayed. I was like, nope, I don't want it. Uh, I just, maybe somebody would have told me different. Like, girl, just, just, just actually I've had someone do that when I broke up the engagement and they're like, girl, this is a good man. He is this and he is that. He is, I mean, you know, handsome, educated, all of this. You should have just, uh-uh, girl, mm-mm, girl. Mm, I would have worked that out. <laughs> but I don't know. I know people mess up. I totally understand that. But if I just feel like People can have you easily, then you're just not worth it to me. I just, I'm just not going to like you anymore. That's just how it is. If people have easy access to you, let's imagine the window, right? The glass window. You ever been to one of those business offices and they have those big, heavy glass doors and they look so nice, you know? I love those glass doors, but then upon closer look, you see all the little fingerprints on it. It's like, ew, doesn't look so good. And then you don't want, you're almost taking your time touching it because all these germs are on it. Like for me, that's just how I think. I don't know if that's a bad way to think, but I immediately don't hold you in that same esteem anymore. So it's not even a matter of if I want to be happy Will I still like you the same way? Most likely, I am not going to feel the same way about you anymore. Because if I know somebody's kissing on you, grinding on you, sweating on you, like you're kissing this person and all that, number one, that's going to really hurt my feelings. But not only that, it's like you're not special anymore. You, you understand? And... To some people, they'll think that's unrealistic. Like, there's nobody in the world that can never cheat. There's nobody in the world that can be can can be uh, faithful. But there are people who can be. I mean, look in the mirror and you see a person that, when they're in a relationship, they can actually be faithful and love that person and not have any issues. Of course, you're going to notice other people. People are handsome, but to say, I want to sleep with, I want to, you, I want to betray this person who has been here for me. I feel that you should have that level of love that you would have the kind of love you have for your, your child. You know, it's not the same one, you know, for your child, the love you have for a child versus the love, the Eros love that you have. For a man or, or a woman, it's, it's, it's different, but I'm saying there's never a time with your child that you're just thinking to betray them. You really shouldn't. If you're that parent, you, you know, something's not right, okay? 
So it's it's just that easy. Like when it comes to your child, if you're a parent that really loves your child, hands down, there's no second, third thinking about this. You know what's up. It's like this is my child. So it's that easy when it comes to someone that I really love and care for. I'm, I will notice who's handsome, but if I love you, I love you. It's not hard to be faithful to you. It's not hard to be loyal to you. It's not hard to love you till the end. But you just realize that you're just living in a world where there's so many things there are lots of there are not a lot of people that allows that side of you to that part of you that can truly love genuinely like that. You almost have to keep that on lock. You know what I'm saying? So there are people who can do that. There are men out there who can be loyal, who can be faithful. There just like there are women who can be, but it's just that most times we're living in a world where we run into people who will act on impulse more they're more like they want you to understand or to fall in line with this mentality of not expecting much hey if i'm giving you material wealth and i'm taking care of you and you're safe here then you know don't don't look down don't go looking don't open pandora's box just know that you're the one that i love and for some people it works some people, they do it and it works for them. And I guess so. But I'm going to say it's going to be mostly women who will go this route because men are wired so differently. There's no way for majority of men, a woman is going to be able to come up to him and say to him, oh, yeah. Uh, what you don't know will hurt you. <laughs> that man is not going to tolerate that. Unless they're swingers. Unless they're swingers. And if they're swingers, then they're going to go with it. That means they have an open relationship. They sleep with whoever they want to sleep with. They do whatever they want to do. And that works for them. But what are your thoughts on it, guys? As far as individuals that are saying, do you want to know the truth or do you want to be happy? Do you think not knowing will make you happier? Do you think that not knowing will keep you in the dark? Or is ignorance indeed bliss? What do you say? For me, I say today, nowadays, with how people are moving and how unhinged a lot of people are I feel like we're we're gonna run into more rabbit boiling people a lot of people who are not mentally stable I feel that this is not like back in the old time days where men were cheating okay like I'll tell you my grandfather my father's father he had a lot of women I never met him. He died before I was born. He died when my father was 16. But my dad was saying when he died, there were so many women at that. When he was dying, there were so many women at the house. Somebody was, there were women cooking, women taking turns cooking and cleaning and washing his clothes and by his bedside, all along with his wife. And then he married several women. In different parts of the world because he, you know, he fought in the world war. So he was traveling. He was in Italy. He was in England and Panama. So he was marrying everybody. <laughs> and this might have worked in those times. Women moved differently back then. Doesn't mean it was okay, but they, they were different. But today, oh no, there are too many federal attractions walking around so for that reason it's that's the main reason why I feel like I would be concerned about it because people are dangerous and you cannot just assume putting my trust in a woman and feeling like okay she's already willing to cross the boundaries by being with my guy 
and thinking that she's going to not cross any other boundaries to maybe get him or to break the foundation of whatever we have going on because she wants it for herself. That's just too common and it's too scary. So that's where I'm at. To me, yeah, tell me the truth because it's not about if I'm gonna be happy with you. It's like, if I know that you're messing around, I'm not gonna like you the same. My feelings for you are going to change because once I know you're getting palmed up, squeezed up, someone else is grabbing your buns and doing all this stuff to you, you're definitely not gonna look the same in my eyes. So give me your opinion on what you think about it. All right guys, bye.